This video is for absolute beginners in JavaScript. So let's see what JavaScript is and how it's used. All modern web applications, which are applications that are used through internet browser, are all written using JavaScript because it has become the standard in developing web applications. The way these web applications are built is that you have a layer of HTML, which gets styled and made more beautiful by CSS. In order to make this beautiful surface, also called user interface, smarter and more intelligent, we use JavaScript to write logic to create features. Examples of such features are user registration, booking a ticket, online shopping, sharing photos, writing messages, etc. So when thinking about how websites are built, one can separate the design layer and logic layer. And in big complex applications used by millions of users, each part becomes big enough on its own. So as a result, you also have website designers, also called UI designers, and JavaScript developers as separate jobs. Maybe you've heard of programming languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, etc. In one sentence, all these are backend programming languages and JavaScript is a front-end programming language. In fact, JavaScript is currently the only programming language you can use to write front-end code. Now to make all these more tangible, let's see how HTML, CSS and JavaScript code actually looks like. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are simple files that you write in a text editor. And these files have texts and keywords in them which have specific meanings to the browser. In other words, browser will know exactly what to do with these keywords. So the question is, when you create file with JavaScript keywords inside, how does browser know that it's JavaScript and not some other text? It knows because you tell it explicitly using the file extension. The typical simple file will have a text extension, .txt for example, but when you create file called for example, app.js, browser knows it must interpret all the contents of the file as JavaScript code. And it works exactly the same with HTML and CSS. To note here, browsers are also written by developers using some code. So this functionality to interpret HTML, CSS and JavaScript was explicitly programmed and made part of all modern browsers. It's important to mention here that learning HTML and CSS is pretty easy since there are just a handful of concepts you need to understand and learn. They don't change much over time and they're also less logical. So it's more learning syntax by heart to use them. JavaScript, on the other hand, is very dynamic and much more powerful since you write almost all the logic with it. So JavaScript changes a lot and improves continuously to make writing all this logic easier and more structured. So obviously when you look at a simple web application, uh, logic for simple payment or uploading a picture or writing a message can be straightforward and easy. But think of the complex websites you use daily that have hundreds of functionalities. So that's a lot of JavaScript code that developers have to manage and work with and that can be very challenging. Because of that, over time, many developers or teams of developers that use JavaScript came up with different ways to improve it and make it easier and better. And they did it in parallel, independent of each other, or also based on each other's ideas. And as a result, different JavaScript quote unquote flavors, or as we call them, frameworks emerged. So framework is basically an improved version of pure vanilla JavaScript which offers its own additional concepts and syntax on top of JavaScript concepts and syntax that makes writing complex JavaScript code easier. And most of these frameworks help you pretty much do the same, but the difference between them is in how they help you write the code, structure it and manage it. And naturally when other developers tried all these different frameworks, a handful of the best of these frameworks became widely accepted. And some of the most popular are React.js, AngularJS, and Vue.js. So both pure JavaScript and JavaScript frameworks are continuously developing and improving in parallel. Now to mention here, Node.js, which is also a JavaScript framework, is different from all the others because it's meant not for front-end code, but for back-end code. 
So it's an alternative to Java, Python, C Sharp, etc. This means that if you learn JavaScript, you will be able to basically program the whole web application from front end to back end using just JavaScript, which could be a one incentive to learn JavaScript. This means that in order to learn any of these frameworks that I just mentioned, you first need to understand basic JavaScript concepts and syntax, because all of these frameworks are based on JavaScript. And once you've learned basic concepts of JavaScript, then you can go ahead and choose one of these frameworks to learn. And it will be much easier for you to learn concepts and syntax of that framework on top of JavaScript. So in the next videos, I'm going to cover the basic concepts and syntax of JavaScript so that you have a foundation to learn any JavaScript framework.